So three months ago, our startup got canceled. And finally, here's the update. So today we're gonna be re-releasing our app to the public, going to this event called Demo Day, where a ton of investors come and decide if they wanna invest in us or not, and then trying to close the seed round for our startup. Let's head right in. So if you don't already know, we're making Pear AI, an open source AI code editor that will completely change the way you code. We're integrating all the best AI tools on the market into one super editor so you can just make whatever you want. Anyways, we re-released to the public with our accelerator called Y Combinator and yo, we actually got uncancelled. Pretty much all the responses to Pear AI were positive and everyone tried our product and looked through our commit history and I would say just saw that we can actually code and we're just grinding super hard. And yeah, for the past two to three months, Pan and I have pretty much just never left our apartments. We ordered delivery, lunch, and dinner pretty much every day just to get an extra hour of work in. And with our re-release, all the haters saw this and they couldn't say anything. Like I said two months ago, I feel like these haters just simply don't know us like that. And the truth will always come out. Anyways, after being uncancelled in public, I'll say life was a lot better. I feel like our reputation was more converging to what we were actually trying to do, which is to just make the best AI code editor out there. Also, with Demo Day coming up now, investors were actually hitting us up and it was actually time to lock in. So to try to get these investors to give us money, we made a pitch deck and you know what? Let me just run you through a quick version of it. Basically, and I touched on this a bit before, but the way that Pear AI is gonna be the best AI code editor is to integrate the best AI tools on the market into one super editor. All of our competitors are either not designed for coding with AI or trying to solve coding with AI in a one-size-fits-all manner, building everything in-house. But what we're seeing is that there's AI tools on the market that solve specific parts of coding with AI, like autocomplete, code generation, AI web search, the list goes on and on, but they already outperform specific parts of a one-size-fits-all approach. And so with a modular approach, when the next best AI tool comes out, say for like coding knowledge, Pear AI and its users will be happy because it'll be integrated within their workflow and be likely better than what competitors have. And also the AI tool will be happy because they get more users and money. And yeah, this is somewhat of a very zoomed in version, but to be honest, these investors don't really care. And I think half of them don't really understand what I was talking about. They just want to know that you can make them money. But on the technical side, what we would need to make this work is two parts. One is the backend, which is a flexible framework where these AI tools can communicate with each other and have shared context. And the other is the front end side where the UI UX has to be pretty much perfect so that working with different tools just feels like you're working with one tool. Anyways, aside from all of that, a lot of people in our comments might say that our competitors are actually pretty good already, like eight out of 10 good. That's great, but that's also what everyone said about Nokia's in 2000. I really feel like people just don't understand how good AI code editors can and should be. And so yeah, that's why we're gonna make Pear AI just absolutely goaded one day. A bit off tangent, but like I said in a previous video, it doesn't necessarily also have to be Pear AI. I honestly just want the best AI code editor to exist in the future. And we're just a statistic with a chance to contribute to this space. During our fundraising prep meeting, I told this to our esteemed advisor, David Lee, the creator of Google Photos, and honestly, one of the smartest and most humble people we've ever met. And he just stared at me for a while and was like, well, that's great, but don't tell this to any of your potential investors. Anyways, for our pitches, I told this to every single investor and shit. Yeah, we didn't get any money. But it's okay because we still have demo day. There's actually demo day part one where YC alumni that want to invest in you come to hear your presentation. So that was first. So we had one minute to talk and they heavily recommend you. They have a, a cookie cutter version of the script that you're supposed to say, which includes all the basic stuff like your traction, your team, what you're making and all that. We were gonna go with it, but after practicing a bunch of times, like it actually just got so boring and painful to hear. And I think that if I was an investor, I would probably just fall asleep during the one minute presentation. So at that point we knew we had to do something else. I had scheduled a meeting with Gary Tan, the CEO of YC to go over this, but it was the night before. And unfortunately he wasn't free because he just got his hands on the new limited pre-release version of Korean Girl Simulator. 
Soul Edition. <laughs> Pan and I are actually not sure how he got it because it wasn't released yet and we were still on the waitlist. But it's all good because we asked Dave and <laughs> he just stared at us and said, guys, don't do this. You're gonna get no investment. Anyways, we felt like we had no direction of what to do going into demo day, but here's a speech. Hi, we're Nang and Duke, and we're making Pair AI, VS Code for the new age of AI. In the past two months, we were able to make an early product with over one million paying customers, one million MRR, and are growing one million percent month over month. At my old job, I actually tried to onboard our biggest competitor, but got rejected due to privacy concerns of it being closed source. They need an open source solution, which is us. Amazing. I'm supposed to stick to my script, but I actually wanted to use this time to talk about something else. This startup is my life's dream, documented over six years on YouTube. I've been coding since a kid, so I can make whatever I want, but I've met countless of creative people who couldn't. There's really no reason why someone shouldn't be able to make what excites them, and that's what Pair AI will do. From the past three months, I know what we're willing to do to make Pair AI do well and be the best code editor in, a, in more than a $6 billion market. So the way I see it is that you can either watch from the sidelines or, if you're interested, come talk to us if you're interested in joining along for the ride. Thank you. Just a quick follow-up. Um, I've been asking to speak to you now for two years um, to talk to you to tell you that I'm also a super genius like yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sorry. I'll try one, but all right. No, I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm just saying serious. This is all, to all benefit of the fantastic shareholders in, in the world. I am a capitalist like yourself. I am also a level two stage. I've been waiting for 10 years now for someone to give me a second look, a full second look. And they, they, they see a very vast line in front of them. So I'm asking you today, can you give me a second look? So afterwards, we were waiting for a bunch of investments. And yeah, we got, we got no money. Ah! At this point, it was actually just really bad. It seemed like everybody was already almost done with funding and we couldn't even get a meeting. We actually got one meeting and I got to the second slide of our pitch and the dude just left. He just never came back to the meeting. Who does that? Anyways, a week passes and we just still had no money. We were sad. And the worst part of all of this was that we were still on the wait list for Korean Girl Simulator Soul Edition. But if there's anything I learned from the startup stuff, it's that everything's in your control and it's also your responsibility. So we had to lock in for our demo day by making a good script and actually just sticking to it like everyone told us to. So we did that and I presented what some are saying, I didn't say this, some other people said this, to be the most historic, best presentation of all time. And after that, shit, we were actually so back. It felt like we were the hot girls at the party again. Everybody was coming to talk to us. After this, we met with over 50 investors and you know, some said yes, some said no, which at this point I truly felt like they were just missing out. And anyone that said yes, I felt like we were doing them a favor because we're gonna make Pair AI succeed. And after two weeks, we filled our seed round. I legally can't say how much we raised or how much Pair AI is worth, but Pair AI, I would say, is actually in a good spot right now to do really well. And yeah, for the past three months have just been an unsustainable, crazy grind. I would say that now it feels worth it. Ah, shit. Well, that concludes this arc for Pair AI. Here's some fun photos of me and Gary and David. And yeah, even though this is the finale, this is actually just the beginning for Pair AI. We're gonna do whatever it takes to become the greatest company of all time. And so yeah, subscribe to join along for the journey. And yeah, thank you again to the Pair AI community and all you guys for the support. Me, Pan, Pair AI, it's just nothing without you guys. And as usual, let's just take some time to talk a bit. Holy shit, what a grind. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is that I get a lot of comments saying like, oh, I wanna do what you're doing and stuff like that. And I just wanna say that, yeah, you definitely should and definitely can. I guess why I'm bringing this up is because recently I saw a video of some guy pretty much bragging about how much money he makes from his sweet job and at the end he's like oh don't compare yourself to me and all that and it was actually just like a humble brag kind of thing but to you guys like my community and all you guys should definitely compare to yourself to me and be like yo if he can do it so can I everyone has their own situation even though my YouTube analytics say that almost all of you guys are exactly like me but 
I don't want you guys to just watch all these videos and just go brain rots and play, I don't know, League of Legends or something. Because if you put in the time and efforts, I really think that you can just do whatever you find to be exciting. And you should definitely do that. A lot of people tell me that they feel like they don't have enough time because they have a day job. And yeah, I definitely do think that the day job would take a lot of time. Like I was working at a quant firm as well. So I get it. But you can also have time after, like afterwards at night, I would work on these side projects and make YouTube videos and also on Sundays. And so, yeah, I guess apply that to whatever you want to do. And I'm rooting for you. The next thing is, is that my takeaway from this entire YCSF arc, the cancellation, just everything, is that I actually have 110% conviction now that this is going to be huge. I just believe in the mission, the idea, and I also just realized that this is actually what I want to do. Like, man, fuck it. I'll get canceled a million more times if it means that Pair AI will let people make whatever excites them. And if a company later down the road, let's say, wants to buy Pair AI, I'm saying, hell nah. I think that Pair AI should one day be the one buying all these other companies. But yeah, you know, it depends on the situation and everything. As you guys know, my life dream is to be the next Elon Musk and Jensen Huang. And I've been training pretty much on my entire life for this. And now I would say that we're finally 0.1% of the way there. This is just the beginning. I wanted to say thank you to everyone. Most of you guys have been here since the beginning, like six, seven years ago, which is crazy to me. So just thank you for that. 2025 is actually going to go crazy. I'm gonna devote all my time to Perry Eye. Yeah, it's actually just gonna be goaded. At the end of the day, we just want to make what people want. So yeah, that might change. And this is just the beginning. Subscribe for the journey. And again, I would say as corny as it is, just make or do something that excites you after this. Don't just go brain rot. Okay, peace.